note, South Korea's rapid Me Too movement spread to schools as pupils accuse teachers. The Me Too movement, which unofficially started on January 29th of this year in South Korea when Sa Ji Hyun, a prosecutor accused one of her superiors of sexual harassment is rapidly gaining momentum in South Korea. The article which flashed up in the very beginning of this video is linked down below along with three other articles. There are four articles total if you'd like to read them. They are quite different but similar also in that they talk about the Me Too movement, how it started and how it's moving and growing in Korea. There's actually a lot of different articles based on this topic and to elaborate a little bit more on what started this whole thing, there was the Me Too movement in Hollywood and South Korean Sa Ji Hyun went and spoke out and she actually spoke out on public television about one of her superiors who was a Ministry of Justice official who sexually assaulted her while she was at a funeral. Because this was such a high profile thing, it started enabling other people to feel that they were free to speak out about their own situations, their own experiences. And unfortunately, I say unfortunately because it's unfortunate that it exists in the first place, a lot of people are starting to come forward in mass. Even sitting here right now, I'm fearful that I'm going to say something wrong, but I wanna come out and say exactly how I feel. And the truth is, women are second class citizens still throughout the world. It's fucking unfortunate, man, but it's true. And I'm glad that this is happening. This is just the very beginning. I'm glad that this is now building momentum in South Korea also. And people in numbers are now feeling more comfortable to speak out. Even just today, I saw another article about a woman who came out on television because she felt TV was the only safe place. She was the former secretary of one of the governors of a province in South Korea who had been raped several times by this man. And she finally came out and said something. And if it wasn't for this woman on January 29th starting the movement over there, maybe this other woman who had been raped wouldn't have said anything. Well, and you said something earlier that listening to you, I'm just thinking about, which is this guy could have potentially run for a larger public office, including presidential office in President the of South Korea. He was actually the front runner. That's why this one made such big news today was because he's considered the front runner to the president when they have a new re-election coming up in a couple years. I mean, nobody knows for sure if it's true, but why would the woman come out on TV and say that? This is not to say that it's all men against women violence, though. There there have been a lot of other cases that have actually come out in South Korea. The most famous is probably Lee Hyun-ju, who was a female film director who was just recently expelled from the, the Directors Guild in South Korea because she has sexually assaulted and or raped a fellow director herself. There's also been an issue with a male director who was unfortunately, his sexuality was publicized when another guy accused him of sexual assault. My problem with the Me Too movement is not that it isn't important, because I do feel that it's very important. I feel that there can be a danger in accusing somebody and everybody jumping on the bandwagon before they've actually been prosecuted and proven that they did in fact do this. You can so easily ruin somebody's life and this is something that like, I too have my own stories. I even have my own story in South Korea. To put it very bluntly and very simply, um, I filed a police case and won against my first boss in South Korea for sexual harassment. And so this is something that does exist in South Korea. I'm glad that it's happening because you do have this mentality of if somebody has power, they can say whatever they want, they can do whatever they want, and this has long been established within these structures that now finally people are speaking up and saying this is no longer acceptable. January 29th is a little over a month ago on the day of this filming, but what we're seeing now in South Korea is average everyday individuals who were harassed years ago coming out and saying, this has bothered me my whole life since this happened 25 years ago. I'm glad that I can finally at least admit that it happened because you're not even really allowed to admit that sort of thing culturally there. So there's a cultural movement in South Korea. Well, and the other thing that's going on is for so long because the way that the entertainment structure was set up, you would have sponsorships and this has actually 
twisted some of the mentality and the mindset of people within these systems because people think that, oh, if you're an actor or an actress, especially years ago, a lot of times you would have the whole casting couch and people would get their roles and they would do favors, sexual favors for people to get these positions of entertainment. And that's not acceptable. That should have never been acceptable, but people still have this mentality that it's it exists that sometimes it's okay and they have been prosecuting and attacking the women or the men who have been victims of this and not so much the perpetrators themselves. Yeah, basically it happened all because of Harvey Weinstein and that guy is fucking disgusting. I mean, that's how this all started. Like so many people came out against him because he used his power to not allow women into positions of stardom unless they provided sexual favors to him the guy should be in jail. It's still hard for a lot of people to come out and talk about these things. And one thing that has actually helped a lot of people in South Korea is the anonymous app Blind. Did you know about no. this? Okay, it's a it's an app that a lot of people have been using and the hashtag Me Too movement has become very popular in part because of this, because they can go and anonymously talk about their experiences. But also the hashtag with you has become really popular and very prominent as a lot of people are coming in support. And that's what I think is actually better than anything is the with you movement, which is we understand that this is an issue internationally and theater directors, actors, uh, priests, teachers, uh, even a poet has actually been removed from various textbooks because he has been accused. And he's a Nobel Prize contender for literature, I saw. Yeah. He's probably not going to win it now. I mean, most likely not going to win it. But I think that it's really great that not only are we acknowledging that this is happening, but we are supporting other people that have had these experiences and saying, you're not alone. We are here. We are supporting you. We understand. And you have all our compassion and understanding and sympathy. And good for you for speaking out. Comments, you guys, you've been following the story or the movement in South Korea or the Me Too movement in general. What are your thoughts? Do you have anything you want to say about it or are you against it in any way? What are your thoughts? What are your feels? Let us know in the comment section. I know we've talked about sexual harassment and rape and abuse and other things in the past, but I think that this is a really healing thing to talk about. Click the like button. Thank you for supporting us here at Hollyback. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL and the mystery boxes for sale in March. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollyback news. That's it, we're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.